For a great game, you gotta have great wings. Thanks, Bob, for 25 great years. Happy 25th anniversary. Great wings don't change a thing. The black and white chicken with the white barbecue sauce, fantastic. Make it simple and sweet and short, I love everything. Hey, Bob, you chased me for 10 years, and I've been chasing you for 25, trying to catch up to you to get some more of those wings. Well, Coach, uh, welcome to Mobile. I know you've uh, you've had a lot of success recruiting here, and good to have you back. Well, it's good to be back, and we have uh, a lot of folks uh, in this area, and and uh, we we try our our hardest to recruit well and. In uh, Mobile, Baldwin County, and of course, you know the other areas close by, the Panhandle, and and uh, so uh, it's it's always good to get back. We've been down here for the bowl and loved it and enjoyed it, and we're treated as royalty. <laughs> you know, we really had a great time, uh, even though we lost a double overtime uh, uh, nail biter uh, to uh, Central Michigan. You know, it was a uh, it was a great time, and us and our kids enjoyed, it and our our people did too, and so did we. Tell us a little bit about uh, heading into camp here in a few days. Uh, what you're expecting in the next uh, couple of weeks? Well, we, we think we got a chance to be a good football team. Uh, I think we have to evolve and all the pieces have to fall. You know, we have uh, lost Jarrell Jernigan to the New York Giants and uh, he furnished a lot of production. So we have three or four or five guys going to have to replace him. And then we lost two, two really good receivers to eligibility problems. And Chip Reed is probably the best deep threat in the, in the Sun Belt. And uh, Jamel Johnson, one of the best big receivers uh, at flanker. And uh, we, we think we'll get them both back uh, uh, maybe in a year, but uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're not going to be active this year. And that hurts us because uh, that was part of the help we were going to get to replace the Jarrell Jernigan uh, uh, production. And uh, of course, Jarrell also figured in into the kicking game and uh, kick, kick returner, punt returner. And, uh, so, but we got we got a lot of athletes. We, they're they're just younger guys that we don't know as much about it. So it's hard to predict. And uh, I think we'd be good. I think we'd be better on defense. We got more depth on defense and than we've had. And uh, and then we we uh, feel better about our offensive line. Certainly, our quarterback's a great player. And and uh, got some running backs that have really have been around and salty guys that can run the football and catch the ball out of the backfield and protect the passer, which is big in our set. In our set. I was going to say, you got Robinson back at quarterback yes. a, a year under his belt, so that's a good place to start. Brian, he's, you know, he gray-shirted for us, which means he, he's trusted us a long time. He came in there part-time and then was on full scholarship in January, went through a whole winter program, spring ball, summer training, fall camp, and then was redshirted, and then he came back the next year and, and, and won the job from a great player, in, in my opinion, uh, Jamie Hampton. And uh, uh, Corey, Corey's a guy that's smart. He's, he's learned a lot already. He's, he's a guy that hadn't made too many mistakes uh, the second time, you know, so, you know, that's, uh, that's a good sign. He's taken over the leadership role for our offense in the summer, and, and they're throwing uh, seven on seven and working. Uh, you know, he's led that. So I, I really feel good about Corey Robinson.